What does this symbol mean? Radicals. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, kanina pag-usapan natin yung radicals. Series revamp, ito kasi meron na tayong older videos nito, pero hihimayin natin sila lahat sa series na ito. Okay? Kaya sisimunan natin sa pinaka simula. But before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way for you to do that is through buying our merch. So if you haven't bought yung mga shirts, mugs, hoodies, caps, and all the things that I designed for this team, you can do that by visiting shop.teamlaika.com. Alright? Now, doon sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat sa bumili na, maraming salamat sa inyo. And again, thank you for helping me help more people through this channel. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over sa aking presentation. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating uh, lecture on simplifying radicals. The first thing that we're going to do is talk about yung structure niya, yung itsula niya, yung parts. Itong pinaka parang check mark na ito, ito yung tinatawag nating radical. Now, yung line dito sa taas, which also gives us, us a clue sa kung anong mga numbers yung pasok dun sa ilalim ng radical na yon. we call that yung vinculum. Okay? Now, it's important to note na yung vinculum also dictates kung sino yung kasama lamang dito. Kapag may katabi itong isa pang 4 na hindi kasama or hindi under dun sa vinculum, okay, and you're answering an exam, ang big sabihin nun, itong 4 na to, hindi mo siya kailangan square root kasi nga hindi siya pasok dito. Okay? Now, yung number na nasa ilalim ng payong or ilalim ng vinculum natin, yung tinatawag natin radicand. Okay? And if there is a number right here sa taas, for example, you have the number 2, that is what we call naman the index. Okay? Now, yung index na yan, it determines kung ano yung hinahanap natin or ano yung pwede natin ilabas doon sa ating radical. Okay? And we'll talk about that dahil isisimplify natin ito. Okay? Now, ano yung explanation dito? Again, kapag meron tayong square root na ganito, Kapag wala siyang index, ang ibig sabihin ng automatic, ang index niya ay 2. And what that means is, if ito ay if a factor natin, and there are two of a kind, ibig sabihin dalawang, common na, dalawang factor na pareho yung number, pwede ko siyang ilabas dun sa payong. So, if we have 4, we can break it down. Diba? Ang square root of 4 is like square root of 2 times 2. And dahil dalawa yung 2, Okay? At sabi natin, ang index ay 2, pwede natin siyang ilabas. Okay? So, this will be equal to 2. Ang square root of 4 is 2. Now, of course, it will help if you memorize a table of perfect squares, at least the first few ones. Okay? Uh, ano yon? 2 times 2 is 4, 3, 3 times 3 is 9, uh, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. But, for those of us na, and oo, kasama ako, na hindi masyadong magaling sa memorization, one thing that we can bank on is yung rules pagdating sa pagfa-factor. Okay? It's also very important pagdating sa radicals kasi we can start with smaller numbers. And the more familiar you are with them, the faster you will be. Ililink ko dito sa taas yung ating video series paano mo malalaman kung isang number ay divisible sa 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at iba pang numbers. Okay? Panoorin nyo na lang siya later. Okay? Now, dito tayo sa sample natin. We have two options kasi. Meron tayong yung parang equation type na solving pag nasimplify tayo ng radical. So, if, for example, you have 16. You can do something like this. Diba? Square root of 16 is equal to the square root of. And then you have 4 times 4 is equal to 4. Okay? Or, you can also use yung factor 3. This actually comes in handy, lalo na kung kayo ay nagtitake ng mga exams na bawal ang calculator. Kasi mas visual siya. Okay? It also could help you explain this to a younger student na medyo nagugulan, ha, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Or bakit ko yun nilalabas dun sa payong? Now, ang gagawin lang natin would be ibibreak natin yung 16 into parts. Okay? So, if a factor 3 lang natin, ang 16 is going to be 4 times 4. And again, because ang index nito, dahil square root siya ay 2, kapag may dalawa na of the same 
thing or the same number, ilalabas natin siya sa payong. So again, the answer would be 4. Now notice, pareho din naman yung sagot. Okay? Now, we can use that same thing for other na mga problems. This time, we have cube root. Okay? Importante yan. Again, first thing to look at would be the index number. Kanina, walang 2. Walang 2 na kalagay. Pero again, kapag walang number doon, automatic, it's 2. It's the square root. Pero kapag nakalagay na 3, ibig sabihin cube root yan. This time, tatlo of the same number ang hinahanap natin. Now, again, if we use yung factoring... Okay? And you can start small with small numbers. Uh, ano to eh? Even numbers. So, pwede siya sa 2. 2 times 12 yan. Okay? Now, saan ang galing yung 12? 24 divided by 2 is 12. Now, ang 2 is also an even number. So, pwede uli siya sa 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Hindi pa prime number ang 6. Pwede pa uli siya sa 2 and 3. Kasi 2 times 3 is 6. Now, if you notice, again, 3 ang index number. We need 3 of the same number. Meron kong tatlong 2. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung 2 ay nasa labas nung ating payong. Okay? Kaya lang, meron tayong naiwan na 3. Now, anong gagawin ko dyan? Kapag simplify tayo ng radicals at may naiwan, iiwan natin siya sa ilalim ng payong. So, dito yung 3. Okay? Now, anong gagawin natin dun sa index number? Dahil siya ay 3... Okay? Hindi pwedeng hindi natin siya ilalagay dito sa final answer natin. Now, this step right here, dito usually nagkakamali yung iba. Nakakalimutan yan. So, tama naman sana yung solution. Pagdating dito, nakalimutan to isulat. Hindi pwedeng wala yan kasi it changes the meaning of the entire thing. Okay? So, ang sagot, 2 cube root of 3. Alright? So, again, yun yung mga important steps. Alamin ang index. Factor, hanapin kung ano yung mga pwedeng ilabas. And kung ano man yung naiwan, iiwan nyo sa loob. Okay? Now, in-level up naman natin siya. Paano kung ganito? 24a to the 4th b cube. Okay? Square root down nito. Okay. Now, relax. I know some of you, kapag nakakita na tayo ng mga letters, no? Medyo kinakabahan na. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala. break down nga natin ito. It's really easy. Okay, now again, ang first thing natin gagawin would be to acknowledge the fact na pag pinagtapitabi natin ito, ang ibig sabihin yan is minumultiply mo sila sa isa't isa. Much like yung ginawa natin kanina, pwede natin ipila lahat ng mga factors nito. Okay, so if fully factor natin, tapos ilalabas lang natin yung mga magkakapares. Now, you can start with yung number muna na part, 24. So, ang 24 pwede kong hatiin. Okay, into 2 and 12. 12, pwede sa 4 and 3. Tapos yung 4, pwede pa uli sa 2 and 2. Now, wala na akong pwedeng gawin dyan. So, ano kailangan kong gawin? Pagpaparisin ko yung kaya kong pagparisin na. ba? Kasi nga, again, may 2 yan na index. Itong dalawang 2, pwede kong ilabas. Okay? So, ilalabas ko sila sa payong. So, kung ikakasa ko yung aking uh, sagot dito sa gilid, alright, I already have 2 right here. Pero, merong tira na 2 at saka 3. So, anong gagawin ko dyan? Now, here's another thing na hindi natin nagawa kanina kasi hindi, hindi, hindi naman, well, walang kasama yung tira na nasa ilalim ng payong. Kapag sila ay naiwan, ba 2 and 3, pwede mong i-multiply yan. So, instead of 2 and 3 pa ang lalagay ko, magmumukha pa siyang 23. Ang gagawin lang natin, 2 times 3 is 6. Yun ang ilalagay ko dito sa ilalim ng payong. Okay? And nakaabang na yan. Now, paano na yung A? Now, ano ba ibig sabihin ng A to the 4th power? Ang ibig sabihin lang yan is, this right here is apat na A. It's A times A times A times A. Now, much like yung rules natin kanina, kapag dalawa na sila, pwede mo nang ilabas. So, meron kang ilalabas na isang A at isa pang A. So, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses mo isusulat yung A sa labas. Now, para mas neat, ang A times A naman ay equal din sa A squared. Okay? So, yun yung ilalagay ko dito. A squared. Alright? Walang tira. So, okay na tayo dyan. Doon na tayo sa B. B cubed. Ang ibig sabihin niyan is B times B times B. So, tatlo sila. Dahil dalawa ang hinahanap natin, pwede tayo maglabas ng isang pares. So, may isang B dito sa labas. Pero, may tira na isa sa loob. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang matitira dito sa loob is 6B. Okay? 
Tapos na tayo sa lahat. Ito na yung ating final answer. 2a squared b times the square root of 6b. Okay? Now, the best way for you to know if naintindihan nyo talaga is through a quick quiz. I have three questions right here in increasing difficulty. Pero I'm sure kaya ninyong makuha ito. And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, ito yung ating problems. So, we're going to start with the first one, square root of 245. Now, what do we have to do? Again, if a factor lang natin siya. Now, if, again, napadaod yun na yung ating series on factoring, mas madali na ito. Kasi alam natin, kapag 5 ang last digit, 5 or 0 ang last digit na isang number, divisible siya sa 5. So, all I have to do now is to divide it by 5 to get yung kapares niyang number. Now, anong gagawin ko? You can use long division, okay? And the more you practice it, the easier it'll be. Kung nakalimutan nyo na kung paano mag-divide ng numbers using long division, meron tayong dayong video nun. Ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas, okay? But basically, I go from left to right. So, 24 divided by 5, that is 4. Tapos, may sukli or may remainder na 4. Magiging 45, that would be 9. Okay? So, para doon sa mga nagulan, paano na ko yung 49? Panoonin nyo na lang yung video sa long division. Okay? Nasa description box din yung link. Now, yung 49, this is actually a perfect square. This is 7 times 7. So, dahil ito ay square root, again, meron siyang index na to na hindi natin sinusulat. Pares ito, pwede ko siyang ilabas sa payong. Tapos, may tira akong 5. So, the answer is 7 square root of 5. Okay? Yan ang ating final answer. Now, paano naman ito? 108b to the third power. Square root din siya. Unahin natin yung number na side. So, yung 108 is divisible by 2 kasi even number siya. 1 plus 8 is 9. So, divisible din siya sa 3 which means divisible siya by 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin pwede kong simulan sa 6 na agad. Na kung naguluhan kayo again doon sa line na yon. Nandun din yun dun sa video natin sa techniques on how to know kung divisible ang isang number. Pag divisible kasi siya sa 2, at at the same time divisible siya sa 3, ibig sabihin divis divisible siya by 6. Mas maganda kasi magsimula na agad sa malaking number para maliit na yung kasunod. Okay? So, 108 divided by 6, that would be 1, and then 8. Okay? So, 18 times 6 kasi is 108. Now, again, nakita ko na 6, clue na yan. Ang 18 kasi divisible din sa 6 eh. That would be 6 times 3 is 18. And dahil pares naman ang hinahanap natin, dahil 2 yung index niyan, meron ka na agad 6 sa labas at 3 sa loob. So kung isusulat ko yung aking final answer, you have 6 outside, okay, and 3 inside. Okay? Now, doon na tayo sa B. 
B cubed daw siya. So, ibig sabihin nito ay tatlong B. B times B times B. Hinahanap natin yung pares. Makakapaglabas tayo ng isang pares. So, that would be this B right here. Tapos, meron akong sukle or tira na isa pang B. So, dito siya sa loob. So, the answer is 6B times the square root of 3B. Now, uh, papasok ko dito yung joke that I make sometimes. You know, sa barkada, di ba? Kapag magkakabarkada kayo, tapos may naging magjowa, yung magjowa usually wala, wala na silang time sa barkada. So, lumalabas na sila dun sa payong. Naiiwan tayong mga single sa loob. So, parang ganoon yung process natin sa simplify ng radicals. Pag nagpares, lalabas, yung mga nasa loob, magpa-party sa ilalim ng payong. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin yun, 6B square root of 3B. Now, dito tayo sa number 3. So, ang parang pinaka fourth root, kumbaga yung hinahanap natin, apat of the same number ang kailangan para lumabas siya dun sa payong. Huwag kayong mag-alala. Again, ibibreak down din natin into steps. 1, 1, 2. Divide natin sa 2. This will give us 56. 56, pwede natin i-divide into 8. Okay, kasi ang 8 is, uh, ang 56 is divisible by 8. That would give us 7. Kasi 56 is 8 times 7. Ang 8, pwede siya sa 2 and 4. So, ang 4 ay 2 and 2. Tapos na natin i-factor yung factor 3. Again, 4 ang index. So, kailangan 4 of a kind. You have apat na dalawa dito. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 na 2. Okay? Lalabas siya sa payong. So, dun sa abang natin na sagot, which again, lalagay natin yung index number na 4. Huwag yung kakalimutan dyan. Meron ka na agad 2 sa labas. Okay? Tapos, sa loob, dahil merong tirang 7, may iiwan siya sa loob. Diyan. Doon tayo sa x to the fifth. Ang ibig sabihin nun, meron kang limang x. Ang dami niyang x, no? Okay, so lima. Apat para may ilabas ka na x dun sa payong. So, meron kang isang may ilalabas. May isang tira. So, dito yung x na yan. Yung y, okay, yung y, dahil 4 yung y, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, Apat ang kailangan para mailabas siya. Okay? Pwede ko nang ilabas yung y isang beses. Okay? Pero wala nang matitira. Walang sukli. So, okay na tayo dyan. Susunod na natin yung z. Na yung z, mag-isa lang talaga siya. So, obviously natin pwede ilabas. May iiwan siya sa loob. So, ang sagot natin would be this. 2x squared times the fourth root ng 7xz. Okay? So, kung nagkamali kayo ng isang exponent, isang letter, nagkamali ng isang factor, that's okay. Ano lang, practice lang ng practice kasi again, very important ang attention to details. So, if you want more practice, you can go and visit my uh, Instagram account. I post quick quizzes there sa Instagram story. So, go and follow at Laika Maravilla on Instagram for the new quick quizzes and other announcements. And of course, if you want throwback questions naman, you can go to at Team Laika on Instagram for the throwback questions, a quick quiz, and other announcements din sa mga events at iba pang mga libreng webinars that we are lining up right now. If you have a TikTok account, you can follow me at Team Laika for the educational videos, math and English, and at Laika Maravilla for the motivational videos, tips, and advice, pati yung mga personal stuff. Alright? See you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sana akong mag-exam din sila. That way, mas alami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or library events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Alright? Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe na if you haven't yet para hindi mo miss yung mapaparating pa nating uploads. Hit that bell para manotify kayo kapag ready na siya. And as we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.